And uh, hopefully that sunshine returns next week is happening next week. It's the fifth annual Parade of Pumpkins returning to the city of Prattville, a fall favorite for so many here in our area. Joining us now in studio with the city of Prattville is Lisa Bird. Lisa, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me today. Tell us what you're looking forward to most this year. We're just really excited to have our fifth annual Parade of Pumpkins and we have over thousands of pumpkins that are going to be on display in downtown Prattville. We've got some new additions this year to our barrel trail that's sponsored by Civil Southeast LLC. They, we have a sunflower garden that will be, is all carved out of pumpkins that will be on display wow. on that. And then with all the pumpkins and the free pumpkin painting event that we have for the kids on the 19th, we, um, Randy Jones and Associates provides all of those pumpkins for the kids. And right behind that, we will have a new butterfly garden feature that we have this year from, that's all carved out of pumpkins to be displayed during the event. Where do all the pumpkins come from? So this year we all we bought all the pumpkins from Alabama and we typically go to um, a farmer's market and that's where we get all of the pumpkins. We try to buy a lot of them local, but some of our farmers this year had a hard time with the crop this year. So can people participate? Can they carve, paint, decorate their own pumpkin to put on display? Absolutely. We want citizens to come and bring pumpkins, um, paint, carve your pumpkin. We have hay laid out down Main Street and also Court Street and down at Spillway Park. All the hay is out there. You can put, put your pumpkin on display. We have your lights already there for everyone to see. And our schools have over 700 pumpkins that they'll be bringing this year to participate in the Parade of Pumpkins. You can always count on those kiddos to decorate and come up with some cool themes of pumpkins to put on display each year. Absolutely. And we'll have a contest for those. So the best class pumpkin this year will get a pizza party. Ooh. And then the best pumpkin from a citizen that puts on display and enters in our contest will get $100 from Julian Hansen's Fine Arts. Wow. So it pays to paint or decorate a pumpkin. Literally, a lot of people who are new to our area is like, Parade of Pumpkins, what? what what is that? What does that even mean? Yes, yeah, so Parade of Pumpkins is not uh, your typical parade. It is you parade through all the pumpkins that are on display downtown. And we'll have food trucks. There'll be food trucks every night from 5 to 9. We have music downtown. It's about a mile and a half that you can walk the whole loop of all the pumpkins that are just on display. We set up fall displays. We have a beautiful cornucopia and we have lots of opportunities for a free family event. Do you feel like a lot of people come out and drive to that area just to walk and eat and hang out and check out the pumpkins? each year? Absolutely. We were thrilled to have over 60,000 people come through downtown wow. last year just in the 10 day window of Parade of Pumpkins. So we had packed streets and everybody was really just enjoying the fall um, family event that we have down there. And that rolls over to all the businesses in that area too each year. Absolutely. Our business storefronts do a great job and we will feature the winner of the best storefront this year after the judging takes place. And so they, they all do a great job to tie it all in to um, Parade of Pumpkins downtown. We do ask though that everybody, if they can, bring a non-perishable food item and drop it off at City Hall so that we can benefit the AICC in downtown Prattville. How does it feel knowing that this started just five years ago and has already grown to this? It's great. I mean, our, we have a wonderful community. We've got a great river region that participates. And so it just means a lot to us that people want to come to Prattville and participate in this event. It, we have a great team at the City of Prattville that works really hard to put this on. And so it, for it to be successful, it means a lot to our community. And we appreciate the support from the mayor and the city council to make sure that this event is successful every year. Lisa, most important details. When will the pumpkins go on display? And then how long will you have to see them? Pumpkins go on display starting on the 19th. You can bring your pumpkin on the 19th, but the official kickoff is the 20th through the 31st every night from 5 to 9, but you're welcome to walk around during the day. 19th is kickoff, and then the last day is easy to remember. That's Halloween. So that's you right. the 19th to Halloween to see those pumpkins. Absolutely. All right, Lisa, thanks so much for joining us thanks here on Alabama Live.